A few days ago, Isle Royale National Park conducted an emergency ballast water treatment test on its Ranger 3 vessel as part of a study in prohibiting the transfer of invasive species to Isle Royale. After an outbreak in 2007, Park Superintendent Phyllis Green formed a team of U.S. geological scientists to treat water ballast that may carry things like harmful bacteria that could be detrimental to the local ecosystem. Although the treatment is temporary, Green says it's a positive step in the right direction. The park has been very concerned about the transfer of aquatic nuisance species to the park, and so we wanted, and there's permanent treatments a long way off, it's uh, probably 10 years or more, so we wanted to see if we could find something for the interim that would uh, reduce risk by killing a lot of organisms. Green adds that many tests have been done around the world, including overseas in Germany, but the key is finding a treatment that works and can be done without having to separate the ballast from the vessel. What's critical about getting these tests done is that they are going to provide um, the rate of kill, if you will, of the aquatic invasives uh, or organisms in a tank. And for regulators to want to work with industry to put this in place, they're going to know, want to know that it works better than exchange, because an exchange is just merely when they're out in the open ocean, they flush their tanks and then they refill them and they're hoping they're reducing the problem. Isle Royal National Park has already identified close to 58 areas that harbor invasive species.